NM Cup Live. This is the fourth of five sessions scheduled for today of weightlifting. You'll see the women of the 76 and 81 kilo categories. I'm your host, Richard Mason. Today, for the first time ever, international weightlifting athletes have faced off against other international weightlifting athletes, all in real time, all via the World Wide Web. We have athletes from North America, South America, Central America, and the Caribbean, as well guests from around the world joining us in competing in real time from their training centers, their gyms, wherever they can find weights and a platform. Let's meet the athletes taking part in this session. Representing Ecuador, Nesi de Homes. Representing Paraguay, Melissa or Maria Paz. Representing Cuba, Melissa Aguilera Pena. Now in the 81 kilo category, representing Mexico, Angela Guterres Lopez. Representing Canada, Crystal and Garlam. Representing Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jabarova. And representing Mexico, Anna Carmen Torres. These are the athletes that are participating. We also have joining us from around the globe, our referees for this session. Representing Great Britain, Caroline Charles. Representing the United States of America, Joseph Triolo. Representing Japan, Shoichi Hose. Also representing Japan, our reserve referee, Reiko Chinen. Our timekeeper, Bowen Stewart, will also act as a backup referee, but he'll only make a judgment on the lift if any of the referees have technical difficulties. We also have a Spanish speaking technical official helping me out with the announcements as not all of our uh, participants in the uh, Pan American world speak English. So it's best to have somebody joining us as well to help with the announcements. I believe it's Italo Baratini, or it could be Jorge Espana, they've been uh, trading off. So thank you very much. There will be no jury that is appointed for this competition. So there's no opportunity for athletes to play a challenge card, no opportunity for the jury to look at the video for a second time and call for a reversal. That is just one of the things that makes this weightlifting meet different. The first ever online Pan Am Cup Live by ZKC is a development project co-organized between the Pan American Weightlifting Federation and the International Weightlifting Federation. We've been embraced by ZKC as a strategic partner. The plan is to try and find a way for real, live, worldwide competition and participation from our athletes from the Pan American region and around the world. Each lifter will perform their three attempts. They'll perform their three lifts in the snatch portion, and they'll perform their three lifts in the clean and jerk portion of this competition. As usual, we'll add the best competition in the snatch with their best successful lift in the clean and jerk, and that will give our lifters what we call the total. Now, awards will be handed out in three disciplines, the best in the snatch, the best in the clean and jerk, and the best in the total. The largest total still wins. But after that, this is a different and fun experiment in weightlifting, and we're trying some different things to try and make the technology work and make the athletes uh, be able to compete against each other in a time of social distancing and not recommended international travel. Just before the first round, athletes will lift in rounds here. So all of the athletes will make their first attempt before any athlete starts their second attempt. So what will happen is in the snatch, all of the athletes will take their first attempt. The weights will still go from the lightest to the heaviest. And then after the first round is done, all seven of the athletes have taken their attempt. We'll take a two minute break to allow them to make whatever changes they need for their second attempt. We'll do the same thing, start from lightest to heaviest. Now that may mean that the athletes are now lifting in a different order, but 
That's how we'll do it. And then we'll take a two minute break and we'll move on to the third. After the third attempt in the snatch, once the snatch portion is concluded, we'll move on to the clean and jerk. But the athletes will have 10 minutes to make the transition from lifting in one method to another. Now you'll see the two minute clock and the modification period. That is the opportunity for athletes to make their changes just before the snatch or the clean and jerk, just before any round, that two minute clock runs. Each athlete has, or the athlete's coach has, two changes available to them. No changes are accepted before the modification period, no changes accepted after. And once the attempts are set for each round, the athlete will in turn lift with the weight going up. We'll take a 10 minute break before we finish the snatch and start the clean and jerk. And as not all of the traditional rules have been applied, the uh, International Weightlifting Federation technical competition rules and regulations are mostly in play here, but because there's been some adjustments for technology and adjustments for the opportunity to lift from wherever that athlete is, these totals will not be able to be used for qualifying events. This will not be an, an opportunity for the athletes to use this number to try and uh, qualify for a bigger and a better event. They also won't be able to use whatever number they, they can put up today for qualification for anything like um, records, world records, continental records, national records. They're, they're not in play today. Virtual gold, silver, and bronze medals will be handed out in a virtual medal ceremony for the total. As well, the athletes are getting medals for the snatch and the clean and jerk, but those will all be taken care of at a later date through the mail. Every one of these athletes get a certificate of participation. And speaking of participation, I believe it's almost time that we start doing that. I'm going to take a quick look here at the scoreboard and get ready to go. We have 10 seconds left before we see our first attempt. Again, this is the women of the 76 kilo and women's 81 kilo session. The modification period has expired. 70 kilos is being requested for our first athlete, representing Paraguay. We have 70 kilos on the bar for Maria Paz Aiea. First attempt. Setenta kilos de la barra para María Paz Ayala de Paraguay. Primer intento. That is a good lift and a good opener in the women's 76 kilo category group A session for Paraguay's Maria Paz. Movimiento válido. Our next athlete representing Cuba, requesting the same weight, 70 kilos, Melissa Aguilera Peña. 70 kilos para Melissa Aguilera de Cuba. That is a good lift for Melissa Aguilera Pena. Movimiento válido para Cuba. We're moving up 10 kilos and we're heading to Ecuador for attempt number one of Nesi de Gomez. This is her first attempt in the snatch portion of this session. Subimos 80 kilos para Nesi de Gomez de Ecuador.
Necesite Gómez. A la barra. De Homes lift it has three red lights, no lift for De Homes. Movimiento nulo para Nancy De Homes. The bar is moving up 85 kilos now, 85 kilos for Angela Guterres Lopez, Mexico. This is her first attempt in the snatch portion of this session. De Homes lift it has three red lights, no lift. 85 kilos para Ángela Gutiérrez de México. That's a good lift. Gutiérrez López, Mexico, 85 kilos. Movimiento válido. One more kilo, and we're headed to Canada. Crystal and Garlam, Canada, 86 kilos. First attempt in the snatch. 86 kilos para Crystal and Garlam. De Canada. Manchester. Good lift in Garlem, Canada. Movimiento válido. 90 kilos. Two athletes calling for this weight. They will be the last two lifts in the first round of the women's 81 kilo category. Up first, representing Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jabarova. 90 kilos para Tursunay Yaborova de Uzbekistán. That's a good lift for Tursunoy Jabobarova. Still with 90 kilos, off to Mexico now for Ana Carmen Torres. This is her first attempt in the snatch. Mantenemos los 90 kilos para Ana Carmen Torres de México. And that's a good lift for Ana Carmen Torres of Mexico. Movimiento válido para México. As we talked about, now we will start the two-minute modification period. Each athlete and coach has two minutes to make their changes for their next attempt. If they were successful on their first attempt, they will be automatically given a one kilo increase. Now, if they were not successful, they will be asked to take the same weight until they make their changes. If we take a look at what happened in the first round, in the 76 kilo category, we have three athletes and they went two for three, 66% success. Both of them with 70 kilos for Maria Paz of Paraguay and Melissa Aguilera Peña of Cuba. The 80 kilo attempt of Nesi de Homes of Ecuador was unsuccessful. When we move down to the 81 kilo category, the women there in Mexico's case, good luck with 85 kilos and a successful list for Angela Gutierrez Lopez. Next up was Canada's Crystal and Garlam and she lifted 86 kilos as well. And 
90 kilos successful for both of our leaders in the 81 kilo category. Anna Carmen Torres successful with 90 kilos and Tursanoy Jabarova of Uzbekistan also successful with 90 kilos. The strategy here is a little different because there's a two minute modification period. Each athlete can see what the other athletes have put in during that two minute time. But once that two minute time has expired, there's no opportunity for the athlete to react. They can't go up if the other athlete makes the successful lift and they can't kind of play around by staying where they're at in the case of a miss. Whatever number they enter in this two minute period is what they are going to lift regardless of what happens with the other athletes in this same session. So the lifting is the same, but the strategy certainly has changed. We have just a few seconds left. It looks like our first athlete will be when the modification period, period expires and it has expired. Our first athlete, we're gonna call 75 kilos on the bar representing Paraguay, a five kilo increase over her first attempt. Maria Paz, Paraguay, 75 kilos. 75 kilos para Maria Paz Ayala de Paraguay. No lift for Maria Paz of Paraguay at 75 kilos. Movimiento nulo para la gordita paraguaya. Staying with 75 kilos, Melissa Aguilera Peña, Cuba, second attempt in the snatch in the women's 76 kilo category. Mantenemos los 75 kilos para la gordita de Cuba, Melissa Aguilera. And a successful lift for Melissa Aguilera Pena of Cuba. Movimiento válido para la gordita cubana. We're still moving within the 76 kilo group A session with Nesi De Homes. This will be her second attempt in the snatch. De Homes, Ecuador. 83 kilos para la gordita Nesi De Homes de Ecuador. Nancy, preséntate en la barra, por favor. De Homes has a good lift, 83 kilos. Movimiento válido para Nancy. Moving down on the scoreboard now to the women in the 81 kilo category and their second attempts in the snatch. We'll start with 90 kilos. Angela Guterres Lopez, Mexico, second attempt. Subimos a 90 kilos para la deportista Angela Gutierrez de México. Estamos en la ronda de los segundos intentos. A good lift for Angela Guterres Lopez. Movimiento válido para la deportista mexicana. Joining us now for her second attempt from Canada, Crystal 
and Garlam, 91 kilos. Hi, come on, Crystal. Llamamos a la deportista Crystal Nergamen de Canadá con 91 kilos. A successful lift for Angarlam of Canada. We need now 93 kilos and we're headed to Mexico. This is the second attempt in the snatch of Ana Carmen Torres Wong. 93 kilos para la deportista mexicana Ana Carmen Torres. Good lift, Torres Wong. Movimiento válido para la deportista de México. 95 kilos will be the final attempt in the snatch of this second round. 95 kilos belongs to Tursunoy, Jaborova, Uzbekistan. 95 kilos para el tercer de la deportista Tursunoy, Jaborova de Jabarova, good lift, 95 kilos. Once again, this concludes round number two of the snatch in the women's 76 kilo and 81 kilo category. All changes will now be accepted for two minutes of the modification period for the athletes before we begin round three. Recapping, once again, just one miss in that round. We had one miss in the first round as well. This time the miss belonged to Maria Paz of Paraguay at 75 kilos, successful in the 76 kilo category with 75 kilos was Melissa Aguilar Pena and with 83 kilos, Nesi de Homes. De Homes currently has the lead in that category. If we go down to the 81 kilo group, again, four for four this round with lifts of 90 to 95 kilos, a very tightly grouped session, 95 kilos, the best belonging to Tursunoy Jabarova of Uzbekistan. She's followed very closely behind by Anna Carmen Torres Wong of Mexico, just two kilos back. Three kilos back of her is her country mate, also from Mexico, Angela Guterres Lopez. Crystal and Garlam of Canada is currently in fourth position in the women's 81 kilo group with a score of 91 kilos so far. Once again, we'd like to thank our referees for joining us. We have uh, referees gathering from all around the world because there's not a lot of competition going on now just because this event is being put on by the Pan American Federation with help from the International Weightlifting Federation. The uh, cadre of uh, referees from around the world have all been very interested in participating in this and being uh, having the opportunity to help out. This session alone, we have Caroline Charles from Great Britain, Joseph Triolo from the United States of America, Shoichi Jose of Japan and Reiko Chinin also of Japan joining us and also our timekeeper is a technical official as well a referee Bowen Stewart of Australia. We thank you very much for your contribution to this event and we hope that uh, we can keep you active and uh, rust free when the uh, regular weightlifting reopens. 77 kilos being requested in the end of the modification period that's the lightest weight we have on the board, we'll start with 77 kilos. 
in the women's 76 kilo category. Third attempt belongs to Maria Paz Paraguay. 77 kilo para Maria Paz Ayala de Paraguay. That will be no lift. Maria Paz, 77 kilos. Movimiento nulo para Maria Paz. Our next weight is 80 kilos. That's being requested by Melissa Aguilera Peña of Cuba. Third attempt in the snatch. Peña, Cuba. 80 kilos para la deportista de Cuba, Melissa Aguilera. No lift for Aguilera Peña of Cuba at 80 kilos. Movimiento nulo para la deportista de Cuba. One more attempt left in the snatch portion of the women's 76 kilo category. From Ecuador, Nesi de Gomez. 86 kilos para la deportista de Ecuador, Nesi de Gomez. That's a good lift for De Homes at 86 kilos. Now moving... Thank you. Now moving down to the 81 kilo category. Our first athlete is requesting 93 kilos. It's Angela Guterres Lopez of Mexico, third attempt. 93 kilos para Angela Gutierrez de Mexico. No lift. Guterres Lopez. Movimiento nulo. 95 kilos now the weight. Also in Mexico. This is the third attempt in the snatch for Ana Carmen Torres Wong. 95 kilos para la otra deportista mexicana, Ana Carmen Torres. No lift. Ana Carmen Torres. Movimiento nulo para la deportista mexicana. 96 kilos is now the weight. Canada's Crystal and Garlam, the athlete. Third attempt in the snatch. 96 kilos para el tercer intento, la deportista de Canadá, Crystal Garland. Come on. No lift in Garlem, 96 kilos. Movimiento nulo para la deportista canadiense. 
One athlete left in the snatch. Final attempt. 97 kilos belongs to Uzbekistan. Tursunoy Jaborova. Último movimiento de arranque. 97 kilos para la partida Uzbekistan. Tursunoy Jaborova. That's a good lift, Jaborova. This concludes the lifting portion of the snatch of the women's 76 and 81 kilo categories. Taking a quick look at the scoreboard, you can see that Nacy de Gomez has the gold medal in the snatch with 86 kilos, followed by Melissa Aguilera Pena with 75 kilos and Maria Paz at 70 kilos. That's in the 76 kilo group. In the women's 81 kilo group, the gold medalists in the snatch and the person with the lead heading to the total is Tursunoy Jabarova of Uzbekistan, followed by Anna Carmen, Carmen Torres with 93 kilos. And Mexico's Angela Gutierrez Lopez has 90 kilos, but in the bronze medal position is Canada's Crystal and Garlam with 91 kilos. We're about nine minutes away from resuming with the clean and jerk of this portion of this session. We're going to take a few seconds here and uh, check out an interview that we've done with the uh, longest serving member of the International Olympic Committee, his views on weightlifting and where we are today. We're speaking with uh, Dick Pound. Uh, let's see, we'll start with some of the credentials. I don't think we've got enough time to do all of the credentials, no offense. Uh, Long-standing member of the International Olympic Committee, first ever chair of the World Anti-Doping Agency current chair of the Olympic Broadcast Service. And the reason we wanted to talk to you today is a uh, longtime vocal advocate for clean sport. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us. Pleasure to be here. Now, I'd like to go back in time a little to start. Before the change in leadership at weightlifting and before the McLaren report was started, what were your thoughts on weightlifting as a sport and its place in the Olympic sphere? Did it have a place? Well, I always thought so. I mean, it's, it's a traditional uh, sport. Uh, it's an exciting sport if you if you watch it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's strategic, it's emotional, it's it's everything. Uh, but it's it's been struggling for a long time with uh, with doping. Now that struggle has started, as you say, a long time ago, and it has continued um, either below the surface or just above the surface for. I don't know, decades maybe. Um, and has that been kind of your concern with the sport all along was, was the, was the unfairness that, uh, that doping adds to, to the whole uh, field of play? Uh, that certainly. And, and in the, the context of the Olympic games, uh, I mean, in, in, in 1988, I actually proposed that uh, because of the, because basically half the positive tests in the Olympic games were, weightlifting, this, this very small sport. And it, it was kind of tainting the Olympic Games. Everyone thought the Olympic Games were, were filled with dopers and uh, instead of mainly the sport. So I said, look, it, it's, it's an exciting traditional sport, but it's in trouble. We should help uh, weightlifting solve its problem. And, and the best way we could do that would be to take it off the Olympic program for one or two or however many cycles it uh, would have taken to uh, get back uh, on track. Uh, that uh, was probably, probably a little too extreme. But we did, uh, I remember telling the IOC president, Sam Ranch, at the time, I said, I'm going to give this interview. And I think in about five minutes, your phone is going to start to ring. And you'll, you'll do what you have to do. But you can say, look, you know, it's clear that you have a problem. Uh, young Pound is a little impetuous, perhaps, but I was Young Pound then. Uh, but on the other hand, he's, he's, you know, he's a vice president of the IOC and, you know, it, you've got to help me to help you. And so they, it, it, one of the many changes they did was they, they changed all the weight categories so that all the records, you know, were, were you had to start over again. And they, they introduced a um, system of fines uh, for 
uh, national federations that, that had problems. And, uh, the numbers were not great in terms of the, I said, you know, $50,000. I mean, really, that's just like an entry fee. And he said, well, if you look at the countries that are involved in uh, this, it's pretty hard for Bulgaria or, you know, name another country to come up with 50,000 US dollars in those days. So it, it's a, it's a serious uh, disincentive for them to, uh, to dope. And anyway, it's, so that went underground for a while and then came back up um, and you know it was it's it's pretty blatant and it was pretty clear that weightlifting had no particular interest in solving the problem now, uh, it's my opinion and my opinion and you know two dollars gets you on a city transit bus here in Winnipeg uh, that once once Bach uh, relatively recently, just a few years back, said, you know what, you guys are provisional. Uh, weightlifting took a step back and actually did take a, a good hard look at their qualifying system and the like. And from a qualifying system standpoint and that, I think they made uh, great progress. Is, is that safe to say? I, I, they certainly made the progress in, 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 in that area, uh, not in their overall governance, not in their overall, you know, ethos of, uh, of, uh, of sport, but uh, yeah, no, I, I think you have to give them credit for that, but, but it, it's not, you know, you weren't winning the hearts and minds of anybody in weightlifting. That's fair. Now, since, uh, since now fast forward a little bit, um, I don't want to assume that everybody in Canada, that it's a small enough country that every lawyer named Richard knows every other lawyer named Richard that's involved in sport. Uh, but I'd I think it's safe to say that you're familiar with uh, Richard McLaren's latest work uh, on weightlifting and his report. Indeed, yes. Um, do you th were you surprised by what you saw? Um, no, not at all. I, I think it's it, what you need is, is uh, an experienced investigator to get in there and you know, find the facts and report on them, so that it's not just uh, you know rumors or, or um, he said, she said uh, kind of stuff. So I mean, he's a very thorough uh, uh, investigator. He was we we worked together on the Russian investigation back in 2015 and 2016, and so uh, no, I've I've known him for many years, and I think uh, weightlifting did the right thing in in uh, appointing him. Now, with the revelations that came out in the McLaren report and with new leadership in place at the International Federation, do you see this as, as a clean slate and someplace that they can move forward from? Or do you think that weightlifting is just so far down the road that it needs removal from the Olympic program for a couple of cycles to, to get its house in order? I, I suspect uh, it may come to that. I mean, one, one of the, the hallmarks that was particularly worrying in, in McLaren's uh, report is the complete reluctance of, of people with knowledge to come forward and, and speak with them. And, and um, that was, a, for me, was the worst sign of all. Uh, because if the people that are, that are there and, and, you know, the, the president is gone, but uh, they were all part of that system and they have no uh, apparent willingness to come forward and say, all right, this, yes, this is what was going on. And this is, we agree that we need to do something fairly radical to, to solve this. So I, I don't know uh, whether that, that penny has dropped or the, uh, the the bulk of the people involved in weightlifting. And if it hasn't dropped, then I think they have a, a real problem and, and it might well come to um, come to suspending them from the program for one, two, three, whatever uh, Olympiads it, it may be. And, and that, of course, they haven't figured out the economic impact of that. Um, and, you know, my, my experience is that international sports federations only feel pain in their wallets, nowhere else. And if, if that Olympic funding dries up, I think it's going to be a, a, a big difficulty for, uh, for weightlifting. Wonderful. I, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Uh, thank you for your time and, of course, for your decades of service to sport. Well, thank you, and good luck with your program, and, and good luck with the competition. I hope it works. Thank you. Take care. We're back. We have uh, just about a in this uh, change of times to see just exactly um, whether we had now 
a friend or a foe uh, with the uh, with in, within the International Olympic Committee movement. And uh, I think we have a better understanding of how the IOC sees weightlifting as it exists today. We have 90 kilos being requested for our first attempt in the clean and jerk. Let's take a quick look. Again, De Homes leads the 76 kilo category by uh, 11 kilos over uh, Aguilera Pena. Uh, both Aguilera Pena and Paz are currently, again, a few more seconds left for them to make their modifications, currently calling for 90 kilos with Nacy De Homes calling for 10 kilos more. If you look down at the 81 kilo group A session, the 120 kilos being requested by Crystal and Garland would definitely vault her up to near the top without with a number of attempts left to go. There are no more changes being accepted right now. We're calling for Maria Paz Paraguay, 90 kilos, first attempt in the clean and jerk. 90 kilos para el primer intento de Maria Paz Ayala de Paraguay. A good lift, Paz, Paraguay. Movimiento válido para María Paz Ayala de Paraguay. Still with the 76 kilo class, 90 kilos on the bar for the first attempt in the clean and jerk of Melissa Aguilera Peña, Cuba. Mantenemos los 90 kilos para el primer intento de la deportista de Cuba, Melissa Aguilera. A good lift for Melissa Aguilera Pena, 90 kilos. Movimiento válido con 90 kilos para Melissa. Still in the 76 kilo group, the first athlete on the scoreboard after the snatch will be our third to start. 100 kilos, Nancy de Homes, Ecuador. Primer intento de envío para Nancy de Homes de Ecuador con 100 kilos. Good lift, De Homes, 100 kilos. Movimiento válido. Moving down now to the 81 kilo category, our first attempt belongs to Angela Guterres Lopez of Mexico, 105 kilos. First attempt in the clean and jerk. 105 kilos para el primer intento de la deportista Ángela Gutiérrez de México. Listo. Good lift, Gutierrez Lopez, Mexico. Movimiento válido para Gutierrez. 113 kilos now, also a Mexican athlete, Ana Carmen Torres. First attempt in the clean and jerk. 
113 kilos para Ana Torres de México. A good lift for Ana Carmen Torres, 113 kilos. Movimiento válido con 113 kilos para Ana Carmen Torres. We're adding some more weight. Now 115 kilos. Tursanoy Jabarova, Uzbekistan, first attempt in the clean and jerk. Right. Yeah. 115 kilos para la deportista de Uzbekistan, Tursanoy Jabarova. A good lift for Jaborova. Movimiento válido para la deportista de Uzbekistán. Our final lift of the first round of the clean and jerk in the women's 76 and 81 kilo category. Representing Canada, Crystal and Garlam. 120 kilos para la deportista de Canadá, Crystal <sighs> Premier essay, 120 kilo in Garlam, Canada. A good lift for Crystal and Garlam. Movimiento válido para Crystal. Once again, we're entering the two minute modification period. The athletes have two minutes between the athlete and the coach to make as many changes as they can. They're allowed two uh, during this two minute time period before we start the next round. And once again, in the clean and jerk and in the snatch, we are going by rounds. Each athlete will lift at least once or will lift once in this round before we move on to our third round in the clean and jerk. So there will be no jockeying for position once the first lift goes up that athlete and all the other athletes in this session will be married to that number. They cannot make any changes once this two minute modification period expires. Let's recap at the first round in the clean and jerk success all around, all seven athletes made good lifts. We start with the 76 kilo athletes, both Maria Paz and Cuba's Melissa Aguilera Pena were successful with 90 kilos. Nancy de Gomez pretty much nailed down the gold medal with a 100 kilo lift on her first attempt. In the 81 kilo category, 105 kilos was Angela Guterres Lopez opening attempt. She was followed by Ana Carmen Torres Wong of Mexico and then Crystal and Garlam finished it off just after Jab Jabarova's 115 kilos and Garlam finished with a 120 kilo lift. Once again, all seven athletes were successful on their first attempt in the clean and jerk and were about 40 seconds away from starting with the next attempt. Not all the traditional rules are being utilized in this event. So records, you can see the records on the, your screen there with rim of 
the uh, Republic of Korea uh, holding the world record in the uh, total with 278 kilos. Zhang of China with 156 kilos as the strongest clean and jerk in the world. All of these records are safe because we aren't following all the procedures. So the lifting in this competition cannot be eligible for world records or for qualifications for other events. Modification period has come to an end. No more changes are being accepted. We're going to ask for 95 kilos and head to Paraguay for the second attempt in the clean and jerk of Maria Paz, Paz, Paraguay. 95 kilos para Maria Paz Ayala de Paraguay. That's a good lift for Maria Paz at 95 kilos. Movimiento válido para la deportista de Paraguay. 95 kilos will be on the bar as we head to Cuba for Melissa Aguilera Peña and her second attempt in the clean and jerk. Los mismos 95 kilos para la deportista cubana Melissa Aguilera. A good lift for Aguilera Peña. Movimiento válido para Melissa Aguilera. 103 kilos is the next attempt on the board, and it belongs to Nesi de Homes, Ecuador, second attempt in the clean and jerk. Subimos la barra 103 kilos para el segundo intento de Nesi de Homes, de Ecuador. Good lift for Nesi de Homes, 103 kilos. Movimiento válido para la deportista ecuatoriana. 110 kilos is the smallest amount requested for the second attempt of the women in the 81 kilo session. So we'll go to 110 kilos for Angela Guterres Lopez, Mexico. 110 kilos, second attempt. Vamos, venga. Para Angela Gutierrez de Mexico. Angela, venga. That is a good lift at 110 kilos, Angela Guterres Lopez. Movimiento válido para la deportista mexicana. More weight now, 117 kilos for Ana Carmen Torres, Mexico, second attempt. 117 kilos para el segundo intento de la deportista de México, Ana Carmen Torres. <coughs>
Good lift for Ana Carmen Torres, 117 kilos. Movimiento válido, 17 kilos para Ana Carmen. 120 kilos being requested now for the second attempt from Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jaborova. A good lift from Tursunoy Javarova. Movimiento válido para la deportista de Uzbekistan. One last lift in the second round of the clean and jerk. Representing Canada, Crystal and Garlam, 125 kilos. 125 kilos para el último intento de esta serie, de segundo intento de Crystal Garment de Canadá. No lift for Ngarlam at 125 kilos, closing out the second round of the clean and jerk. Movimiento nulo para la deportista canadiense. Once again, changes will now be accepted from the athletes. They will have two minutes to make their changes and feelings known to our tech people so that we can make sure that the next round uh, goes the way that they hope it will. Now, there is some strategy involved here. You'll see that uh, in the 76 kilo category with both of our athletes uh, making 95 kilos, Maria Paz and Melissa Aguilera Pena on that last attempt, that means that there's 5K separating the two. Now they only can make changes for this first two minutes, but I think they'll both be trying to find a number that is that they can make that's just 5K more than what they think their opponent can pull off. Nesi de Homes is significantly ahead in the 76 kilo group A session. And I don't think her number will have any impact on the silver or bronze medal action. Taking a look now, again, the 76 kilo athletes went three for three. This time we have a blemish in the 81 kilo category in the second round. We had success for Angela Guterres Lopez at 110 kilos. Anna Carmen Torres of Mexico made 117 kilos. Then it came to Tursanoy Jabarova of Uzbekistan, who was successful with 120 kilos. Interesting to note that Jabarova, after the snatch, led Crystal and Garlam by six kilos. Well, then in the next round, in the second round of the clean and jerk, and Garlam was asking for five kilos more than Jabarova had to try and close that gap significantly, but was unsuccessful. So that is the lone miss so far in the clean and jerk portion of this session was in Garlam with 125 kilos. The athletes have a few more seconds and I'm sure that Maria Paz and Melissa Aguilera Pena are closely watching what each other puts in before we move on to the beginning of the lifting. Just a few seconds left. And the modification period has expired and the athletes have been told that there will be no more changes expected or accepted. 100 kilos, please. Representing Paraguay, third attempt in the clean and jerk, Maria Paz. 100 kilos para el tercer intento de envío de la deportista de Paraguay, Maria Paz Ayala.
no lift for Maria Paz at 100 kilos. Melissa? Sorry. Pardon. <laughs> Melissa Aguilera Pena now, Cuba, 100 kilos, third attempt in the clean and jerk. Mantenemos los 100 kilos para la deportista de Cuba, Melissa Aguilera, en su tercer intento. Daisy De Homes, next. That is a good lift, Melissa Aguilera Pena, 100 kilos. Movimiento válido para la deportista cubana. 106 kilos now for Nancy De Homes of Ecuador. She's already got the lead and uh, and all the medals wrapped up, but she has a third attempt in the clean and jerk. Nancy De Homes, 106 kilos, third attempt. 106 kilos para la deportista de Ecuador, Nancy De Homes. En su tercer intento de envión. Good lift, Nancy de Homes, one hundred six kilos. Movimiento válido para Nancy de Gómez. That closes off the women's 76 kilo group A session. Now to the women of the 81 kilo group A session. 113 kilos being requested by Angela Guterres Lopez, Mexico, third attempt. 113 kilos para la deportista mexicana Angela Gutierrez. Tercer y último intento. Vamos. That is a good lift for Gutierrez Lopez. Movimiento válido para Angela Gutierrez. Moving down to Mexico's Ana Carmen Torres. Third attempt in the clean and jerk. Final attempt for her, 122 kilos, please. Subimos a 122 kilos para Ana Carmen Torres de México. That is no lift for Ana Carmen Torres at 122 kilos. Movimiento nulo para Ana Carmen. 123 kilos requested for the next attempt from Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jabarova. Third attempt. 123 kilos para la deportista de Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jabarova.
A good lift for Tersinoy Jabarova of Uzbekistan. Momento válido para la deportista de Uzbekistan. Final attempt in the clean and jerk, 125 kilos, requested by Crystal and Garlam of Canada. Subimos dos kilos más, 125, para el tercer intento de la deportista de Crystal and Garland de Canada. Pues ya me sé, third attempt, 125 kilos in Garland, Canada. And the good lift is, the final lift is a good lift for Ngarlam. Movimiento válido para la deportista canadiense. This concludes the lifting portion of this session. If you want to check out the scores, you can see that Ngarlam getting the gold medal there within the clean and jerk, but her total in the, uh, her total is below the total of Jabarova. So even though Jabarova was the silver medalist from that, she will get the gold medal for the total. Uh, some some strategic work there. Uh, we had uh, both Maria Paz and Melissa Aguilera going head to head in the uh, previous category, in the lighter weight category, the 76 kilo category, and in Garlam and Jabarova working against each other as well in the 86 kilo or 81 kilo category. Our gold medalist in the women's 76 kilo total, Nesi de Gomez of Ecuador. The silver medal goes to Melissa Aguilera Peña of Cuba and Maria Paz of Paraguay receives the bronze medal in the total. Premiación en total, en primer lugar, la deportista de Ecuador, Neisy Da Gómez, segundo lugar, Cuba con Melissa Aguilera y tercero, Maria Paz Ayala de Paraguay. We also have medals to hand out in the other category, the 81 kilo category. Tursunoy Jabarova, the gold medalist from Uzbekistan. Crystal and Garlam of Canada will receive the silver medal. And Ana Carmen Torres of Mexico is your bronze medalist. Medallista categoría de 81 kilos. En primer lugar, la deportista de Uzbekistan, Tursunoy Jabarova. En segundo lugar, la, de, la deportista canadiense, Crystal Garvel. Y en tercer lugar, la deportista de México, Ana Carmen Torres. This concludes the women's 76 and 81 kilo categories of the first ever online Pan Am Cup Live by Z ZKC. We hope that you'll join us for our next session. It starts in uh, just under an hour's time where we'll have the athletes in the 87 kilo and the over 87 kilo category. Thanks again for the technical expertise of the IWF staff, the brilliance of organizing from the IWF and the Pan American Weightlifting Federation, their committees, as well as their executive. I'm Richard Mason, and we hope to see you later for more weightlifting.